Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Pequeño Pod with Senor Pequeños. If you want episodes early, bonus episodes, special guest interviews, and other perks, please consider supporting us on Patreon, which will give you all of those things for the price of one coffee cup per month. You can find us at patreon.com slash pequeñopod, P-E-Q-U-E-N-O pod. Otherwise, enjoy this free episode, and I hope you have an awful day. But I drank a full bottle of water. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, my brother Starts pretended bleeding to like, out of her eyes and ears. <laughs> my brother pretended to punch me in the stomach like right after I drank it and I was like, Aww. I'll probably just like shoot water out. I'm not even joking. I was gonna make a bad joke. I'm glad uh, I've yeah, still got somewhat of a filter. You don't shoot. know anything, alright? You don't know anything, you squirting joke. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know? I'm just kidding. How did you um, know? That's crazy. <laughs> But while we were waiting for you to come on, I was eating some applesauce, uh, and it's got cinnamon already included in it, and I just think those kinds of foods are really funny, that it's like the easiest thing you could possibly add to anything, and yet they're like, too much work. (laughs) We're going to dedicate a whole section of our factory to applesauce with the cinnamon, because you can't go... It's the peanut butter, (laughs) it's the peanut butter that has the jelly, like, stripes in it already. Yeah, it's disgusting. What the hell is with that? It's Mm -hmm. just mush after that. (laughs) Yummy! Mm. (laughs) 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 Nothing like both, (laughs) both ingredients for my sandwich in a can. Mm. Aren't Americans, like, the only ones who eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, too? Everybody else is like, why do you guys eat... in the UK, they eat, like, onions... And like bread. I was gonna so say. We're okay. Yeah, I was gonna say beans <laughs> on bread. Don't the, the UK spotted have a dick. sandwich? Yeah, they do have spotted dick. Just and the, the bread sandwich. So, <laughs> yeah, they have the bread sandwich. It's a piece of toast. Or no, no, yeah. it's two pieces of no, toast and then two pieces of, raw no, toast no, in the center. No, no, no. It's 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 the other way around. Flipped. It's toast in the middle. Bread on the outside. Yeah. I hate that. <laughs> ah! uh, it's just like protection for your teeth for the toast, I guess. Is that what it is? It's just like a toast buffer. <laughs> Little cushions because their teeth can't really handle it. Yeah, exactly. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> two bad They're teeth jokes at the same them. time. We're just we're both talking over each other just to get the bad teeth joke out first. I know. Even though like I've never like seen that. I don't understand. I don't know. With the bad teeth. It's cuz like Yeah. They're celebrities. Let's, let's call in a photographer in the UK. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was like, it's because like they're celebrities. <laughs> Toys. Celebrities don't fit like the beauty standard. Like they don't like change their, um, you know, teeth to fit like the American their mouth. stylization. <laughs> what? <laughs> their mouth. Oh my. One. <laughs> I know we were making jokes about how like. British people are always like, at least our schools don't look like Paul J. And then like a school shooting (laughs) happened. Literally three shootings happened right after our podcast came out. I'm pretty sure someone commented, they were like, this aged poorly. And I was like, (laughs) should we have a disclosure on that one? (laughs) Yeah, I mean, I feel like we should have added a warning, been like, hey. We filmed this two days. We filmed before. this, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> two days before. It's not our fault that there's a shooting in America once a week. What do you mean? Like there was. I remember when. Uh, do you, have you ever seen the show Numbers? It's a very obscure reference. Um, but there is one episode of the show where they went like all out. It's like the most they spent on a set or anything. It was a train crash, like a train derailment. Have you oh, ever I thought you were saying the episode the was news? like a train wreck. I was like, dang. No, no, no. Like in the episode, yeah, yeah there, it's a train wreck. But so, literally, like the like a week before that episode came out, there was an actual train derailment. Like I don't know, one of the biggest blah blah blah, whatever. So they had to like wait for it to come out, and then they had to put a thing before the episode that was like, "Hi, we filmed this before we knew that a train derailed and killed a bunch of don't kids." Like so God. sorry, and like don't watch it if like you've been in it. But I was like, oh, that would suck. Like the one. Don't time. watch it if you've been in it. Yeah. <laughs> If you haven't been in a train derailment, <laughs> watch our TV show. <laughs> yes. If you haven't been in a train wreck, listen. <laughs> it's a good Ratings. one. We need them. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, my brother this week tried to buy like a pair of shoes and his card kept getting declined. <laughs> <laughs> it has to do with shooters, Daniel, okay? Oh. Don't don't say I'm I'm 
<sighs> okay, never mind. Okay, so, <laughs> so he was like, why is my card the gone? <laughs> and he had to call the bank up, and they were like, yeah, so we got a notification that you... Well, we're trying to make a purchase from snipers.usa like right after all of these shootings happened and it was a bunch hmm. of like young dudes and so they like cut his card off and my brother was like I wanted to correct them and be like um it's actually snipes and it's a shoe website but he was like um <laughs> yes that's me and they're like okay, why would he we'll say yes that's why would he say yes I don't know the hell <laughs> You try to make a purchase off of bombs.com. And it's like bombs.com. No, I was on Bombas, the the sock company. <laughs> I know he's probably on some watch list now. <laughs> yes, that was me. I was shiping at snipers.com. <laughs> shiping? <laughs> Excuse me. I was. <laughs> I'm having a stroke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, after killing the yo, know, I just you, the brain gets a little mixed up. But who do you correct? Who do you tell? Like, hey, I wasn't, I wasn't on sniper stuff. Why couldn't you say, hey, right? it's a shoe company? Goodness, why would you ever admit to that being a yes? <laughs> yeah, that was me. <laughs> yeah, that, I know. That's all he said. He said he was just so defeated. Like, I was in the room when he was saying it, and I was like, what happened? And he's like, and he was like, well, they thought. It said snipers.com. <laughs> they thought I was, was a sniper and I said, yeah, yeah, yeah that's me. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I didn't want to be All like, right. um, it's nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I was like, you might as well have said something. Like, you I didn't have to correct them, but just tell them it's for shoes. <laughs> yeah, I remember one time when he was in high school, he thought he was purchasing stuff like in the game and he was accidentally using like my dad's credit card that was attached to his Xbox Nice. Profile and my dad's like, why is there an eight thousand dollar purchase? Eight thousand oh. dollars? What did he buy? What did uh, he buy? The well, game? He was, yeah, he was in. He was playing. He Madden. was in the game. Yeah, yeah, he was EA. in the game. I bought EA. Eight thousand dollars. Yes. He he thought he thought he was like purchasing players <laughs> with his points in the game, and he was just spending real money. <laughs> and uh, yeah, my dad was like, "You're gonna fix this yourself. You're gonna have to go in and call them and you're say you're gonna have to go into EA." <laughs> no, yeah, you're, 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 so then I went to snipers.com. <laughs> yeah, then I went to snipers, <laughs> and I fixed, I fixed everything. <laughs> You're going to have to fix this yourself, sniper. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, dude, it was for shoes, I swear. I swear. So, so my Yeah, that was me. Like... That was me. I I was on sniper.com. <laughs> Dad said to solve it myself, and by golly, I'm going to solve it myself. <laughs> what do you even do? <laughs> so, so they had to call Xbox and say, like, yeah, we want to, like, decline this purchase or whatever. Like, we didn't intend to make that. And so when they were asking what his, like, account was, he was like, um, yeah, uh, John the Real MVP. And then they're like, what, what was that? And then, um, <laughs> and, like, my dad set up the call for my brother and before he gave it to him with all the information. And my dad kind of, like made my brother sound like he was really slow like he was literally like my son we had him tested and you know he they just said he had like impairment with learning like he's just a little slow with learning but they didn't it's really terrible. diagnose him with something specific and like i was like why are you telling the xbox people and then and then like he hands the phone to my brother and my brother's like um hello and he's like so embarrassed and then and then like <laughs> Ah, uh, you know him. <laughs> That's my son. Yeah, what's what's your gamer <laughs> tag? And he's just like John, the real MVP. But like duh, like D D A instead of and like, they, like he had to like. Hi, this is his dad again. He clearly doesn't know how to spell since the yeah, is obviously spelled with T H E, not D A. Anyway, back to my son. <laughs> <laughs> How do you even call it? Hello, is this Xbox? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> basically, basically what happened. <laughs> my poor that brother. That is so my... sad. Oh my goodness. You're going to yeah, solve my... this yourself. Proceeds to make the situation worse himself. <laughs> <laughs> basically.
basically, basically. Yeah, my brother happened. was just talking about... Um, he ended up getting the purchases taken off of his account, and my dad got the money refunded onto his card, so we it was all good. It was all hey, good. Brad, and my Fox. brother got to keep the progress in his game. Wait, 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 wait. Well, if you ever refund a purchase, they're like... Rewind all the progress <laughs> of the game, and it just goes back. <laughs> Day one. Oh fuck! Yeah, you know it wasn't like the progress; it was like the purchases he made. I thought it was gonna be like they took away those like golden like card players or whatever off of his Madden profile, but they let him keep the ones that cost real money. Yeah, so they let him keep eight thousand dollars worth of progress. Yeah, that's what the point. That's what the money's meant to buy. What that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. What I'm saying is if I worked for Xbox, I would have demolished your brother. <laughs> <laughs> they used the uh, the slow card on him, so it's... All right, yep. then. Well, you know, <laughs> that's cute. Uh, lovely, that's lovely. cute. <laughs> Nowhere to go from there. <laughs> you know, you don't want me to tell the story about my one crazy friend who has Asperger's oh and then, like, dramatized his disability to get a bunch of free stuff at the fair that one time? Go ahead, tell it. Go, Go ahead. Tell she it. already told it. It's already done. That's the story. He just pretended to be um, severely disabled, and uh, I'm not gonna do an impression of it. So, Thank yeah. God. <laughs> yeah, he just he he was like, "Ooh, Minecraft," and got a bunch of free Immediately Minecraft stuff. Immediately does the impression. So that was not the impression. <laughs> that was definitely not how. She's he like, sounded. "That wasn't the impression. This is." <laughs> no. It was really bad, and so then, like, he lost the game, but they still gave him, like, a bunch of Minecraft stuff, and then uh, there were people selling fidget spinners, and he was like, ooh, and then they gave him free fidget spinners, and... Just stop, just stop. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was, I'm glad we could end this on episode 20. It's a nice round yeah, well, number. Well, it's well, been fun, know. guys. <laughs> it's well, been fun. Don't feel bad. He was arrested, like, twice oh, now, Okay, so. well, <laughs> arrested okay. for what? Do I even want to know? Oh, it's such a long story. Okay, it's you like know, we, have 40 <laughs> minutes. we have forty minutes. All right, so he <laughs> here's the situation. Yes. He went to like hipster school in Washington, right? Yeah, we uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause. I already don't know what that means. <laughs> hipster uh, school. Hipster school. So it's like a very artsy, like it's. Oh, I'm gonna roast my friends who went to. Yeah, I was gonna say all my friends who went to this school are gonna be like, oh, "Don't say that about it." I'm gonna, I'm gonna name drop it. It's and it's full of stones, Whoa. right? So <laughs> he he was doing. Ooh, he was doing a recording Eastern sesh. Peninsula of Oklahoma. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Um. I love so, her reactions when I do something so stupid she can't even laugh at it. She's just like, ah, well, I guess that happened. <laughs> anyway. All right, time to continue. <laughs> um, so they were doing a recording sesh. They were uh, doing some music with this guy. They call it, like, Bread Jesus because, I don't know, the guy looked like... Oh, no, it's like white bread, bread Grandma, Jesus. but Jesus. Yeah, White Bread Jesus because he was, like, blonde, I guess. I don't know. I don't really remember. And uh, he was... I don't know, using his little keyboard, and they were recording stuff, and uh, he accidentally broke the dude's bong, right? And it was a really expensive Right. One. So he went to... <laughs> he was like, you have to pay me back for this. This is like 800 bucks, right? Like, it was a, it was a huge, like, really expensive one that was like a designer one, right? Mm. And designer so... Designer bong. <laughs> so, so he... Yeah, it was. And then he was like, he was like, you guys have to pay me back. And... <laughs> He's like, he's like, okay, uh, how are we gonna get the money for this? Him and his friend who broke it, and so he distracted the guy in like the mess hall while his friend went in to the guy's dorm because he was like, hold on, leave your room unlocked. We're gonna go back in there. I don't know why the guy listened to him, but this dude went in and stole a bunch of his recording equipment, his keyboard, everything, and then like pawned it off. And then they paid one of my friends twenty dollars to go drive them there. So my friend had no idea he was like accomplice to this crime, right? And he, they just sold all of his stuff and they were like, here's your eight hundred dollars back. But then he goes to his room and all of his shit is gone. Um yeah, any, guy in the any, car just like, wow, twenty whole dollars. I can't wait to go to Wendy's. <laughs> anyway, so that... bags I could buy. <laughs> Meanwhile, people are selling slaves out of the back of his truck. 
<laughs> yeah, anyways, so that kid who went into... Whoa, firecrackers. Uh, Fourth of July, Independence. Happy America Day, everybody. I love it here. I uh-huh. love freedom. So, so the dude who stole all the equipment, uh, you know, he ended up pressing charges against the guy because on the receipt, it was like who purchased the stuff with the card and everything. So it was like, okay, so this guy pawned all my shit. Uh, we have the evidence right here. So they were able to arrest that guy. That guy was in prison for a couple days until he made bail or whatever. Um, and while he was there, this kid I knew uh, went into his side of the dorm, I guess, and rummaged through a bunch of the guy's stuff, like stole some money out of his wallet got into his phone and, like, transferred himself, like, 20 bucks for, like, I don't know, like, fast food they got one time. That's it. So, like, he... I have money at my fingertips. <laughs> yeah. $20. Yeah, yeah exactly. $20. Exactly. Yeah, it was, like, 20 18 I really only need 18 uh, Seventeen fifty-five. He sends him back some of the money. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, too and, much. I didn't need that much. And then what he did was he... Jail. Um, he was using the guy's phone to text a bunch of people from the school, like, really creepy stuff, and, like, you know, was pretending to be him. And so the guy uh, was like, oh, somebody was, like, pretending to be me and, like, stole my stuff. Like, as soon as he got back from jail, like, you know, his room was in, like, disarray. And, like, like everybody was like, what are you doing? Like, why are you threatening me? And, like, they were threatening to, like, arrest him again because he was threatening people. And then he was able to look on his Venmo and it was, like, transferred to... How can this you arrest guy. him again? He's in jail. Yeah. The cops well, come was... to his cell door. Don't make me arrest you again. <laughs> well, like, I can see like... there in your suit. You don't have a phone, but fuck you. <laughs> it, yeah, it was like the second he got back onto campus, like campus security was like, we're getting threats from your phone number. Like you're threatening to kill people and like stuff like that. So so he was like, that wow. wasn't me, I swear. So like they, they didn't believe That wasn't me. I'm then... innocent because I was in prison yeah. for, you know, anyway. Yeah, it, exactly. <laughs> I'm innocent. I was in prison. Yeah. And so they were I'm able innocent because like... I was guilty. Yeah. Yeah. They were able to to sort that stuff out, right? How did I kill then... someone? I'm in prison. <laughs> oh, I, I couldn't have killed the ch- him, Your Honor. I killed three children. That's why I was in jail to begin with. Those I did. This one I didn't do. Different murder. I would not yeah. kill an adult at a school ever. Now, kids on a curbside, yes. that's why I was there, man. Mm-hmm. Not this time. Justice initiative. There's a reason Bonus I'm not allowed points. into Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so they saw on the phone, it was like, oh, you transferred the money to this guy. This is the guy who must have had your phone. So campus security, like, asked him, did you steal all this guy's stuff? And then he's basically like, no, no. And they're like, if you lie and we find you guilty, you're going to have to go to jail. And he's like, no, I didn't. I didn't, right? And so then they were like, okay, we have enough evidence that it is you, so... Um, you're going to jail for, like, theft, money wiring, like, identity theft, virtual, virtual, I don't know, something, something else. So he had, like, five felonies against him. And then wow. through the power of having rich parents, one who's an engineer and one's a nurse, um, you know, he, all the charges were dropped. He didn't have Great. to go to jail for anything. He doesn't have felonies on there anymore. Um, he's, uh... He's Everybody gets dude. one. He just, he just had to do some community service. No, actually, uh, he was arrested again, I think, for breaking into a go-kart place and oh. going on a You know, joyride, the places so. that you would... Why would you break in... <laughs> joyride. <laughs> I want to go to jail to drive on a thing that moves five miles an hour. Yes, exactly. Seven, let's be real. <laughs> this was worth getting raped in jail. Yes. <laughs> What what happened to him in jail actually was like he had all of his clothes stolen from him. In <laughs> he jail? was only he was Surprise. only in there for one night and like guys, yeah. not my clothes. Yeah. Like they were like they're like you got fresh underwear under there and then he's like um um <laughs> and so he just gave it to him right away to avoid any conflict. <laughs> he just like, rips off his underwear with one hand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here, take it. Take you can't even it. wear it anymore. He's just like you ripped the seams. I can't wear this. Sew it back together. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't feel bad telling the story about this guy because he's like 
the worst. Well, because they went to jail, seen. so. Well, not not that, but you know, for a long time, he's like, "Don't tell anyone," and like he did so so many terrible things, you know. Who and all the time, he was always shit. like, "Don't tell anyone." Episode well, twenty one, life please never seen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me yeah, when I know murdered what? everybody. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's a drug dealer now, so like I don't know what connections he has. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Yeah, you know how it is. <laughs> Your life is just somehow filled with everything. I don't understand. He's the one how it's that possible. I worked with at the church and then randomly like one day he was like, Hey guys, um I know we're like sharing like little bits of scripture right now, but I wanna talk about the one time that I used a broken iPad to um purchase a prostitute when I was thirteen. And me and the other church workers are just mm. like excuse me and he's like i also want to talk about my gambling addiction and we're like this literally has nothing to do with the scripture at 13 we're going uh, over yeah. what do you gamble yeah. on at 13 i lost five dollars to hungry hungry hippos <laughs> i am deep in debt no it wasn't while he was gambling this is the after hippos we were really adults. are hungry man i gotta tell you god damn the I remember blue one <laughs> Extra hunger. <laughs> that pick bastard stole all three dollars and twenty four cents. <laughs> Don't even get me started on shoots and ladders. I'd rather shoot myself. <laughs> Jeez. You are literally ten. <laughs> that that guy was was insane. Like on a band trip, he sent nudes of himself to like all of the band girls. Which he was a senior then, so he was eighteen, and these girls were not. 18 and he was like at church with me and was like i need to confess about this thing i did and then i was like oh well uh, i'm sorry yeah 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 i know <laughs> well it was to all of the employees like we were having like a meeting talking about the scripture we were gonna go over and then yeah and then he's like would you like to see the picture that i sent everyone and i was like no <laughs> no and then he pulled it up and i was like now i've just seen his wang in the church that's fantastic so yeah god's like i sculpted that myself <laughs> yeah <laughs> Oh yeah. my gosh, love, love that's that terrible. Yeah, after I got out of a terrible relationship, he was literally he immediately like, dials up Satan. He's like, "Hey, <laughs> no, no, I, I got man, out of, I got one for you." <laughs> I got out of a really bad relationship with my ex, and like he was like, "Oh, I'm here to comfort you, dude. I know like what you've been going through. Like we've been talking about it at like church and everything." And I'm like, "Yeah, thanks." And then he's like, "So like we should totally fuck to get back at him, right? Mm. And like record it and send it to him." And I was like. We're the, we're the same. You've been abused, and I sent nudes to underage girls in band. We're the same. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's like, I was like, this is literally the worst thing <laughs> you can say to me there. right now. <laughs> We've all yeah. Been there. And then after I told him like that was the worst thing you could possibly say to me in this situation, he was like, "Are you a paleontologist? Cause you give me a bone or something like that." And I was like. I will literally bury him in a field so that paleontologists will find him later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's something this is the person you were afraid to call out oh no what yeah. do we think there's something wrong All with right. that kid and he would always use his disability yeah to you think justify doing terrible things and we're like we know it's not that severe dude stop and he would like trick people all the time and we're like you gotta you gotta stop like pulling that card after you like just molested you're not that disabled like, <laughs> you're not that disabled so so okay here's another thing that imagine being that confident right. <laughs> it's so, not that bad so one time so i think we're like, he's like 20 ish at the time Chin up. right uh, Grow he's up. talking he's talking to like a 16 year old girl who um was using him for his adderall right and um this girl happens Stop to go mashed potatoes like that <laughs> oh my god yeah, I know you're Nick, faking. No. I know you're faking it. <laughs> oh, yeah, so so 16 year old girl. Uh, oh, she happens great. to go missing. She runs away from home. Last person she speaks to is him about the Adderall. Right? She she's missing, and his or her brothers pretend to be her on her phone, and oh. they're like, oh, okay, so. Uh, so we were talking about the Addy, uh, what's up with that? And then he was like, oh yeah, come through, it, it's it's my birthday, like, we're having a party right now, blah blah blah. And it, 
they're like, okay, like, can you send me the Addy? Because his older brothers thought that Addy was the Adderall, like the drugs, and not the address. And so they he sends the address, and the the brothers like assume that means okay, come to this address and get the Adderall. So they come with the police, and like me and all my friends are like at this party. They're like running, hopping the fence because the police come. They grab him, and they're like, why are you talking to like this sixteen year old? And then he's like, it's not like that. We were like just talking, like, like it's. It's not like that. And they're like, they're like, we have the phone records of you, like, having sexual, like, comments sent to her. <laughs> and we were like, dude, why'd you do that? <laughs> it was so bad. Also, another time in I'm... high school, there was a girl who was a freshman. I think he was a junior or senior at the time. He was giving her his Adderall. And he was, like, trying to get her to have sex with him in exchange for the Adderall or whatever. And then um, the teachers at school found all this Adderall in her backpack and they were like, where'd you get this from? And then it was like, that guy. And then he's like, I didn't even get to have sex with her. I should have had sex up front. It. Yeah. I was like, like yeah, I take Adderall. <laughs> Just slips in <laughs> <her> backpack. <laughs> yeah. Her bag is like rattling so loud you can't even hear her say yeah. it. It's like 60 pounds. <laughs> yeah. I was like... Great she drops stuff. it on the ground at her desk and just <laughs> like yeah, dust there's comes out of powder everywhere. <laughs> oh, I am ready to go. <laughs> I am so ready to get this education. Whoo! <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> so we just yeah. So this is actually human scum. This is the worst kind yeah. of person ever. Worst person, basically. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All I right. Can't, well, there's been multiple people who've complained about sexual harassment at like multiple colleges he's gone to like girls have reached out to me and they're like do you know this guy and like he'll message me beforehand he and he's like, like and he's like doing he'll this. be like if this girl messages you don't say anything and i was like what and then it's like an hour later i get a message from someone and i'm like um i'm not getting involved with this so uh Warn them dude <laughs> fuck him yeah what the hell yeah yeah, there's like... there's so much I should have like <laughs> ah, they'll find out. out on and like <laughs> he ended up ruining my relationship with my best friends from high school because I thought they spread rumors about me. Why are you not saying fuck slut? this guy? Say fuck yeah. this guy. Say yeah. it. I thought they told everybody I was like banging everybody we went to high school with, which was not true. Uh, and so I blocked them on everything. And I was like, you guys need to stop talking about me. I didn't say anything. I was just like, I don't want to deal with drama. I'm just going to block them, right? And then it ended up being that kid who spread the rumor about it. It wasn't even them. So now I'm not in contact with them anymore. So that sucks. But yeah, shout out that guy. <laughs> I will literally travel to Seattle to put him in the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he... He's gone to, I don't know, like almost every major college in Washington because I feel like it's not like he gets kicked out of them. It's like socially he gets kicked out of them because everybody hates him. So he has to like uh, move somewhere uh, else socially. where people don't like him. We can't kick you out. We just don't like that you are the worst person imaginable. Yeah. Yeah, it's like basically like all the women you are like so he here. Yeah, yeah, it's like so you like take he classes definitely... here. you just can't you just can't molest the young girls. Yeah, you know? exactly. Exactly. Socially that's not acceptable. I fucking hate colleges. Bunch of <laughs> yeah, fucking he... hypocritical bullshit. Fucking hate it. He messaged me one time where he's like, My friends made me touch this girl's boob and like what? I had to pay Can her. We stop five talking dollars. about like, it, honestly. Like, I'm he, kinda just he, disgusted. Yeah, exactly. And then he's like he's like, So like if anybody says anything, like those guys made me do it and they made me pay her five dollars because they were hoeing her out like it wasn't my idea I and i was like dead, what's dude? happening what? what what yeah yeah real person yeah <laughs> jesus christ yeah worked well, at a church with children and we went to <laughs> we went to on a mission trip and he was talking about how hot he thought this girl was stop. she was one of the students at the other church we're in our early 20s. Asking, yeah. This girl is 16. He goes in a stop. kayak with her. When he gets out of the Please kayak, stop. he has a giant fucking boner when he was in the kayak with a child. And me and my other friend who worked there were like, bruh, can you not? Can you not? And then, like, I have a video of him trying to hug her because she's like, can you leave me alone? And then he's like, come on, come on, give me a hug to apologize. And it's just her crawling away from him. How has yeah. how has he not been beaten the fuck up and just left in a ditch at this point? I'm actually I, I'm asking. telling you, he just gets out of everything. 
He gets How? away with but everything. But someone has to be like, He hey, uses his, his disability, which I, at this point... How does no one call him out, you know? Yeah, I don't know. So many of my friends are like, why do you put up with that guy's, like, bullshit? Why do you, like, stand up for him? And I'm like, oh, like, uh, he's gone through a lot. And then it's like, oh, I realize, like, it's all self-inflicted. Like, everything he's gone through, so... Yeah, I've, I'm just way too nice to people is, is a problem. and I Juliana, here's the deal. It's There's a difference between being nice to people, but if you defend him in front of me, I'm going to get mad at you. <laughs> being 100% honest. I'm not even joking. Do not defend him in my I'm presence. not going to defend him now because he's terrible, but like, I, I remember him. I need a moment him. just to sit, I think. Wow. I need to take a shower after that. I can go on and on about Please this don't. Person, Please so. don't. I won't. I won't. I'm done now. <laughs> I'm done now. Relax, comedy, my fucking ass. Um, <laughs> yeah, except he he gets laid, and I don't understand how. I is it is it drugs? Because he's a drug dealer. Is is. Speaking of he... drugs, I remember when we were. T- I'm sorry. This is like not. <laughs> this is not on topic at all. Oh, you're gonna happened. distract from the from the the rapist dude. <laughs> wow, how could you? I remember being in college. We were taking a physics class, and some kid was like, "Hey, I brought Adderall for all of us." And I was like, no, because I didn't, I didn't know how I'd react to that. So everyone Fair. took Adderall and they took the, the midterm or it was either the midterm or the final. I don't remember. And like <laughs> six kids out of the seven focused on the test, but one kid was just focused on the clock the entire time. And then he just freaked out that he didn't have enough time and turned in a blank test. <laughs> like, oh my God. Name, and he just ran out. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> it is funny. I remember one time in high school, this kid, like, oh, brought um, what did he brownies. Do? Did he kill a he, child? <laughs> yeah, he brought brownies with ecstasy in them, so right? Bullshit. And three three kids overdosed, right? And, and So he did kill a child! <laughs> they didn't no, die. They, they didn't, didn't die. die. They, they didn't, didn't die. Overdose. But they had to have multiple ambulances come to the school that day. And I was like, what? scooby doo boop bow Look at Daniel go. So, like, one Not kid... Bad. One kid in gym class, he was just standing there, like, frozen and couldn't move and, like, wasn't blinking. And the gym teacher was like, are you okay? And the kid was like, I can't move. I can't move. And they're like, what's happening? And he just stood still for ten minutes. So they had to call an ambulance and then they realized he was over. <laughs> it was really bad. And then you know what? That kid who gave them all the drugs, he went on to be our class president. So it's great. You know, the, the, Redemption police, arc. the police knew about it. Our school knew about it. He was suspended, even though you're not supposed to be able to run for any, like, ASB things if you've had a suspension. Ooh. His parents were rich and donated a bunch of money to the school, so... And they're like, you're clear, You know, those kids, fine. they get out of everything. They get out Husky of everything. kids. <laughs> those silly kids. You know how they are. Lethal doses of ecstasy. Oh, oh funny. Child's play. Funny. <laughs> Hey Daniel, how are you doing? Are you holding I'm up, doing bud? good. Okay. I have I have a very negative feeling right now towards the world. Yeah. Uh, I have no joy left in me. So you go off screen. You go off screen. You come back with the shotgun, and we're like, whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh, whoa! He's like, I'm gonna bond us together for life. You guys will never forget me. I'm going to impact your life forever. <laughs> Julia, Juliana would laugh <laughs> after all the stuff that she's just told. This would be like, I would uncomfortable laugh. You know what? I know me. What do you I do? You hang would. up. What do you do? <laughs> I think I'd probably like vomit first, and, and then hang up. <laughs> I think I'd black out. Yeah. <laughs> Can we stop talking about what you guys would do if I shot myself on the podcast? I don't know. Stop you gotta, you gotta about think it. about it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, when you bring it up, you know. I didn't bring it up. Did you not do the motions? <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, oh, fuck off. All right. Everything's my fucking fault. All right. You're right. It always Good is. Good golly. Stop. I... <laughs> you hang up the call and cry. Stop, please. He's crying. No, already. I'll just keep it on oh, and cry. There's a difference. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <clears throat> oh, Danny boy. Well, since this is the last episode that most of our people will be listening to, uh, I was going to start the episode with this. Just some quick, just some quick little shout outs and thank yous to the audience, right? Okay. Yes. Just a few of the milestones that we've hit so far. So this is our 20th episode. Woo. I don't have a woo in me anymore after that last half hour, but yeah. All right. Uh, we hit 300 YouTube subs. 
Cool. We crossed over a thousand downloads in the last 30 days, which is wild. Uh, which allowed us to get in the, the, the ads beta on Buzzsprout. We're almost at 4K TikTok followers and 300 Instagram followers. So, yeah. Yay! Videos have been doing very well. So, appreciative of everyone that actually listens to this. Yes, thank you. <coughs> to, to random internet people. My friend the other day was like, oh, her, her podcast's popping off. And their mom was like, oh, what do you guys talk about? And we're like, oh, we just kind of like shoot the breeze. And then she's like, oh, people listen to that? That's that's kind of sad. Listen, Je- Janine. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> and like, my friend was like, hey, I listen to it. Sometimes I just enjoy listening to like a stream of consciousness that's not my uh, own. And like, nice. their mom was like, Mm, yeah, okay, that's stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Their mom was like, "Well, I guess it's different because you kind of know like one of the people." But what about like strangers? And I was like, "This is so mean." A lot of people listen to podcasts, okay? Like, they are not like Joe weird for Rogue that. Don't you? Yeah, we're just talking about <laughs> yeah. a dude that's a rapist and molests girls. Like, come on, why, why wouldn't don't you people listen, listen to, that? to us? Yeah, <laughs> listen, mom. If that's even your real name, <laughs> if you don't dig this. <laughs> She was the one who, uh, yeah, almost passed out at the restaurant we went to the other day. Okay. The poor mom. Oh, God. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Good. I hope she passed out. <laughs> okay. Whoa, hold on. <laughs> Whoa. She's a nice lady. <laughs> I don't know about nice. I'm just kidding. Anywho, uh, I still haven't cured my vertigo issue, so that's still continuing and causing oh, this, issues. This so that's is fine. part of the, like, highlights? These are milestones. Milestones. No. No. Oh, I thought you were still listening. I thought you were still reading stuff Vertigo's off the card. Vertigo's still there. <laughs> it's so bad. Vertigo's still there, and she's like, "Oh, do you need to remind yourself of that, you idiot." <laughs> yeah, just, maybe. Yeah. Daniel Sorry. just like his head slams into like the desk, like he passes out. Like. <laughs> I He's get like, there. "Oh yeah." He's like, "Now I remember." I was just pacing earlier, and I like like hit the end of my like hall so i turned around and just in turning around looking at my phone i was like hello it's like all right that's not good but uh anyway i brought that up because like i can't find headphones to use so i had the over ear ones which hurt and don't work that causes bad stuff so then i used the wire headphones but it's super hard to hear out of them and like my microphone picks it up so it's just a real pain to try to weed out Mm -hmm. so then i was using these but like you have to keep adjusting them and the thing with these is because they're they have like um that little plastic bit that like fits your eardrum you know i can like feel everything on my body so i can hear all my bones creak and crack (laughs) as i'm talking it makes me very conscious of my mortality as i'm sitting here and it's really uncomfortable like your fingernails growing like Batman. <laughs> okay, so Batman. I can hear uh-huh. my schizophrenia. <laughs> mm-hmm. I can hear my. I can feel Daniel, my hair wake up, growing. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> so this is the first time you've heard your schizophrenia. Is, do you not normally hear it? No. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, uh, schizophrenic people can tickle themselves. It's a fun fact. That's one I like. Can't anyone from psychology. do that? No, but like they, you can actually tickle yourself because like, like they feel the sensation. We can't tickle ourselves, like and feel the sensation because we actively know we're doing it. So you won't laugh, you won't you won't do a giggle. A schizophrenic person can just tickle themselves for hours and chuckle. Chuckle factory. Who's <laughs> listening to this? <laughs> Good, good questions. Uh, this is great. You know, they also don't know if uh, tickling is like a pain reaction your body has, like to. It's like. Ow, it's, it, yeah, yeah. It's like your body tries to <laughs> numb the pain by making you laugh. So it's like you're not. It's not really a pleasant sensation. Your body is just like, hey, let's let's make it not not hey, unpleasant by hey, making you laugh. You're not shot. Let's just laugh, all right? It's okay. Let out, Don't let out a little giggle. It's okay. Let <laughs> out a little giggle. <laughs> yes. 
We're telling all the listeners like, hey, you know tickling? That's not even funny. That's also pain. Everything in life is pain. Every yes. person is pain. Oh. Thank you for when listening. When you're tickling a child, they're not actually right. laughing. They're actually in excruciating pain. Who's tickling children <laughs> out there? <laughs> People tickle children all the time. You know, little kids like like a tickle. Yeah, not by me. They don't. I'm not doing that shit. You fucking so kidding me? <laughs> Daniel's like, I'm banned from like forty feet of schools. I don't know. Yeah, that. you're like, what? I'm banned from four youth groups. Why would they let me do that? <laughs> oh my god. I tickle a kid once! One time! This whole episode will just be cutouts. It's gonna be a 15 minute yeah, episode. That's, that's it, starts with us be, it starts with us being like, hey guys, uh, tickling is pain. <laughs> well, that's all we got for today. <laughs> shout out to the 4K TikTok followers. <laughs> Quick yeah, shout thank out. Thank you so much. <laughs> Everyone's like, that episode was six minutes long. What the hell? <laughs> what happened? We're, happened? Uh, we're just making more digestible snippets, you know? to keep people's attention so you don't have a podcast anymore it's just for snippets for tiktok yeah (laughs) only tiktok snippets (laughs) great my job's gonna get way easier (laughs) where can i watch this episode you can't (laughs) someone commented on one of our podcast videos like an episode like a full hour long episode and they were like where's the jedi retirement home videos and i was like all right you know what (laughs) can we stop (laughs) I saw that video of you playing the piano, and I was like, since when has this guy played the piano? I played the piano for, like, 18 years. Yeah, I never knew that. I didn't oh. know that. And that video yeah. I thought was really funny. <laughs> that video made me audibly oh, thanks. laugh. I showed yeah. my parents, Aww. and they laughed as well. <laughs> That's nice. You showed your parents? They have that sense of humor. They're not... That's I'm. My parents are the same way I am, so, like, they, they're not, like... What the uh-huh. fuck? Like, <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> did no, you meet exactly Nick's parents, Daniel? Did I what? Oh, did that's I meet for, them? That's for the second no. date. No. <laughs> second date with parents. I, get I don't even days. think I picked him you up guys at his did house. Go on, like a date. I, I was like, they're playing. We pipe, did. Pipe golf. Yeah. We, we held hands in the car. <laughs> yeah. So for anyone who doesn't know, Nick and I did meet up. We've been doing this now for a year. We've known each other longer than that. We've been meeting up for a year. Yeah, I was like, hey, (laughs) secretly, Nick is living in my closet. (laughs) That's why it's so dark. Yeah. mm -hmm. (laughs) How's it going in there? It's going good. You know, he's doing good. (laughs) Shut the fuck up. Don't talk about Anyway. No, so we met up for the first time ever. So that was nice. And uh, not only did we go to a mini golf course, we went to a mini golf course inside a children like playground. So that was fun. It's called Ziggy's Funland. Get it right. Pe- Get it right. <laughs> People kept cutting us in line, but we couldn't cut them back because they were kids and were twenty five. So. <laughs> so we stood there like Just idiots and we're like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> So we stood there getting absolutely, yeah, we stood there getting absolutely rejected in line. And then what's worse is that when we finally got to our turn and someone was helping us after like 20 minutes, the lady's like, what do you need? And I'm like, oh, I just need two for mini golf. And she's like, oh, actually, that's outside. And we're like, hmm. So we waited all that time for absolutely nothing. So it looked like we were just, and because we weren't moving in line and we were in the back, it looked like we were just standing there watching kids. Yep. No, it looks like we were looking at the prizes. Like... (laughs) I got so many tickets. Whoa. I got so many tickets. Minecraft Legos. Get the, yeah. <laughs> get the Minecraft Legos. Yeah, they whatever Minecraft happened Legos. to like, whatever happened to like the Chuck E. Cheese, like, you know, 100 points is the highest, right? It's like, it was 10,000 points. It was points. never 100. Trust me, I went to Chuck E. Cheese every birthday. No, it All was right. not 100 as the I don't know, but it wasn't 10,000 points, I'd win it? like 1,000 tickets and I'd come over with like a whoopee cushion and a slinky. Me too. So <laughs> me too. I put, dude, I put I'd in be like, so dude, much Dude, I got so many tickets. This is going to be the one. And then it's like, here's five, here's a sticker sheet with stickers that don't even work. You put them on something, they fly away. Well, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Cool. Like I was, I, I was God tier at this freaking game where you would get a jackpot on it. Like I was just really good at rolling the coin and having it time to go into the jackpot thing. So oh, I would get, spins? yeah, yeah. yeah. So I would get like a ton of jackpots over and over again. And I Daniel, would just have we're going to a sh- cheese. <laughs> we should go. <laughs> All three of us. We should. I'm, I'm not shaving before I go in. <laughs> <laughs> that can be We've made two I'm ways. just going to say that. Oh. I was like, where, where? <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting all the hair. <laughs> Whoa, okay. All right. All right. Oh, okay. I'm just going to slurp my applesauce in silence. 
You can use the little tinfoil part as a spoon. Hey, Juliana, fuck you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, Juliana, I appreciate you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I would shove tickets in the Chuck E. Cheese ticket counter thing for like 45 minutes because I'd get so many tickets and I still wouldn't be able to get shit Ooh. at the prize counter. I was like, Ugh. bring me the rat. Tell him to make his sticker oh, stickier. Rat. <laughs> Grabs you by the chin. You will take the slinky and you'll like it. <laughs> okay. Dude, I remember like genuinely being so like disappointed when I got like, oh, that's that's all I could get in my. Six thousand dollar range, a Rubik's cube. That's cool. Oh, it's yeah. plastic. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, like, no, oh, I, I, I can't even take the stickers off of it to make it. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually win. Lame. Did you actually? Oh, do uh, that? Yeah, yeah, I did. As a kid, oh, psh, you think I could figure that shit out? No way. <laughs> like, yeah, I solved it. <laughs> yes. And they're like, yeah, why are like, all the boxes crooked? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how they look. Some of them were like torn a little, like you know, like you couldn't quite rip the sticker off all the like tape on it. Yeah. Just like claw marks, like Yes. <laughs> What'd you do? What'd you do to the sticker piece? Goodness like, gracious. What are, you, what are you talking about? This is how you play, I saw right? This. Yeah, I was like I solved it. <laughs> no, Dude, I yeah. remember one time I went to Chuck Oh, I won every single game in the place and got a used white crayon. <laughs> awesome. The only white. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, I got three squares of half plied toilet paper. Thanks, Chuck. No, one time, I, no, literally, one time I did, <laughs> I did get a crayon pack one time, and I went home to use them, and literally, like, it was just, just like broke. the worst wax possible. It didn't leave yes. a mark at all. Like the most pale little line, and I was like, oh. you know why? Because it was wax from Chucky's ears. <laughs> nice. <laughs> just, uh, when we were kids, we we didn't know his middle name was Entertainment, so we used to call him <laughs> Chuck Ernest Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> What's the middle Ernest name? Cheese. Ernest. <laughs> His name is Ernest. <laughs> no, but what did you say before? You didn't know about the abbreviation or you didn't know? Oh, his actual name is it's, Charles is Entertainment, Entertainment. The middle name is Entertainment. Yeah, haven't you seen that meme where it's like, they're using his full legal name here and it's like Charles <laughs> Entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't seen that. Yes, yes. It's like one of them, they just decided to write out his full legal name on the side. It's not even like a good font. It looks awful. Yeah. <laughs> they should theme it differently depending on the country. So in Germany, it's like Charles Ernst Blofeld. <laughs> it's, like, it's a mouse stroking a cat. <laughs> Turn in your tickets to me, yes. Mm -hmm. Unless the you're. German Never mind. Cheese? That, that should be his last <laughs> name. <laughs> 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 oh my god dude no there's a thing where there's bootleg uh Chuck E. cheeses and they change mm -hmm. the names it's like there was one i think i saw it was oh, like no factory mouse and I was like, yeah oh. factory mouse <laughs> what's mouse in it spanish was like, it was like fun factory mouse <laughs> <laughs> what's mouse in spanish raton yeah, it's like, Senor E. Raton. <laughs> nice. Mr. E. Rat. <laughs> <laughs> Mystery and Rat. <laughs> Look, boys and girls, it's the E. Rat. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. He's not even an animatronic, he's just a yeah. hologram. Oh, I was just gonna say that. He's like not an E. Girl. Like he's 80s e -rat. graphics, just looks like shit. Oh. <laughs> I thought you meant not an animatronic because it was like a person, just like. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like, screaming, like guttural, just like. <laughs> Is that the bite of 87? <laughs> Is that the what? <laughs> That's the what? Thing. Five Nights at Freddy's lore, dude. Come. No, I know what Five Nights at Freddy's is. Okay, well, there's a there's a big Markiplier meme where he, he like, yells at the screen. He's like, was that the bite of 87? Oh. It's, no, it was not. It was not. It's okay, Daniel. We'll, we'll catch you up. Oh! <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm just processing things. All right? Goodness gracious. I take I two seconds to respond, and she's like, wow, look at his big dumb face. <laughs> not responding. <laughs> I'm not going to look at it now, but thank you. Really? You have memes for everything? I never would have imagined. Dude, I wish they could see our group chat where you're just talking about something serious. And then she'll send like 40 images. 
And it's always a serious topic. Yeah. <laughs> it always is. Friendly or nice. So it's like You're yeah. like, how do you feel about that? And then it's just like, dude, you guys see this girl's boobies? They look like little kitties in them. <laughs> I'm like, what kind of animal is that? And then you guys are like, can you not? <laughs> can you not? All of our parents just died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then I don't open the chat, so I don't know it was a serious topic right before. I just send send the memes, you know. Juliana, then... can we talk about the fact that you haven't opened one of my Snapchats since February 2020? <laughs> Yet we still have a streak, and I don't understand why. <laughs> and I'm I'm Pretty telling bad. you right now, I really don't want you to respond to them. Like it's too late now. So just don't, don't, I don't want a thousand notifications on my I phone. Will, I'm will not, I will delete you. Now. I will block you from Snapchat. Oh, I don't have time. No. I'm going to be in a time. business meeting just getting like, but up, but up, but up. Dude, I just get so overwhelmed. I, I just like stopped reading everybody's messages of, like one day. I was like, I'm just not going to open any of these, but I'm going to like keep people a little bit updated with my life and still just continue to send Snapchats of random things. One day she replied to mine and like, I didn't know what she was replying to. She's like, ha ha, yeah. Ha ha, oh, I, yeah. I do that so often to people and they're always like, I have no idea what you're responding to. <laughs> <laughs> what? My friends hate when I do that. Everybody says I always do that, and they're like, I can't even respond to those because I don't even know what you were responding to, because that was from like two years ago. And I was like, Well, sorry. Juliana will literally send me Snapchats asking me questions, like important questions, and I'm just not gonna respond because she's never gonna fucking see them. Yeah. I do do that. She's like, Wow, well. this was a really emotional part of the show. What did you think? I'm like, Well, you're gonna find out when the show's over after two more seasons. So what the hell? No, literally, so... when I sent her her gift and it got delivered, I didn't, I didn't Snapchat her. I like texted her because I know she's not gonna check Snapchat at all. There's I no gotta way. send Carrier Pigeon because she won't respond to text or Snapchat. So you know. <laughs> I I open text semi regularly. Yeah, I but... texted her at five. She didn't open it till nine. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, it's raining. Please get your package. <laughs> Please get... I know, and then my package was, like, soaking wet. And I was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> I literally told you the second yeah, it, it was, was delivered. It was, it was soaking wet, and then, like, I was like, I have to open this to make sure it's not damaged because it said, like, important, and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, shoot. And so then I opened it, and then I opened it and was, like, screeching. And then you're like, you already fucking opened it? And I was like, oops. <laughs> Yeah, we were supposed to do like a big old gift reveal yeah, on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, mm. <laughs> <Sorry>. uh. <laughs> that that's on me. My bad. My bad. You're good. You're good. I found I found it. Daniel, get ready. It's coming. Thanks. <laughs> you could care less. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to reclaim my childhood. The only thing I know about Five Nights from Freddy's is all the stuff from TikTok. Freddy, um, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Vanessa, but I'm a material girl. That shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> see, I it's like how stupid. Is. Mm -hmm. You texted me the meme? Who the fuck are you, my mother? <laughs> Facebook Messenger. I almost sent that meme to another guy named Nick, who I've been talking I haven't been talking to in years, but he was a <laughs> senior when I was a freshman and he hit on me very hard. Imagine if I just randomly sent him this meme out of nowhere. <laughs> it's like the bite of 87. Also, yeah, what are you like, doing tonight? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, he. I saw he added me back on Snapchat like about six months ago, right? And I was like, I don't even remember adding him. But then it said like I was sus like subscribed to his ooh. Snapchat. And I was yeah. like, ooh. And then I just like, immediately unfollowed. I was like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> you me as a friend and they pop up under subscriptions, I remove them immediately. I'm not yeah, going to be subscribed yeah. to you. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, you went I'm fishing. Like, cool. Like, yeah. <laughs> I <don't care. laughs> yeah, I was like, ooh, you can hold up a three pound fish by the index finger. Good for you, dude. <laughs> index finger. Oh, you made it your profile picture? That's hot. <laughs> Especially love the farmer's tan. And the f <laughs> That's hot. The people hot. that fish have the best Instagrams because it's all the same picture 40,000 just... times. Just <laughs> It's like <laughs> it's like you need to put a time lapse of it like through the years of just all the fucking fish. I it's just I should... this, It's the same fish, but it's just the boy growing up <laughs> catches the same fish every single time. It's one lake with one fish in it. He just goes back to that same fucking lake for that one just fish every single day. Back. 
She throws the it back. The fish just has like a hole in it. Oh my god. The fish has like, it has no lip. It's just like, it's just like a barbed wire fence on his lip just from all the hooks. Swiss cheese. <laughs> he pulls it out, it's coughing. Yeah, you've absolutely destroyed this fish's life. Like, <laughs> Quick, take a picture. It's freaking me out. It's scaring me. You can't hear the fish scream in the picture, but he's holding like... <gasps> He's holding it like this. <laughs> or like this. <laughs> Terrified. Uh, I remember one. What's time the one I guy we were talking on my... about? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I remember I was sitting on a dock one time while my family was camping, and like my aunt, you were sitting on a dog. My brother, a duck. duck. You were sitting on a duck. Dock. 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 You need to say right. Chicago. Enunciate. Dock. Dock. <laughs> Dock. Yeah, so uh, I was sitting, I was sitting there just watching my family fishing, like my cousin and my brother and my aunt. And then, like, all of a Fun. sudden, I hear screeching, and like the fish is like flopping around the boat, like screeching everywhere. from the fish. And, no, my, my brother and cousin were screaming while my aunt was chasing the fish around the boat with a bat. And like, the oh, fish. Bat. Save me. Yeah, yeah, she was coming to, she was coming to bash the fish's head in. This was for our dinner. This was for our dinner. And, and the fish jumped up and slapped my brother fully across the face like there was a, like a whoosh, like sound effect and everything and i was just shitting my pants watching from the dock like my six-year-old brother getting slapped in the face and then <laughs> and then i think what happened was like that made his tooth loose so later we were playing like we had like a were you fight. fishing for salmon the fuck they were trout and <laughs> they were pretty big yeah and like my my cousin my brother and i were like having a pillow fight and my my cousin grabbed like a sofa cushion not a pillow and bashed my brother across the face with a giant sofa cushion and my brother went flying and his tooth went flying across the floor <laughs> he got that so hard he's like <laughs> yeah yeah and the tooth was dents like, the wall tink, tink, on like the wood cabin floor and you're just like tink tink and like he was like he lost his first tooth that was his first fucking tooth too that's and, like, nice and like my mom always used to put glitter Good under point. my pillow. When yeah, we talked I, about this. When, yeah, yeah. The when I lost the tooth. Me. Yeah. So so that was when she had to get like the shreds of balloon and use that as confetti for my brother. <laughs> she just found random balloons under like the cupboard in the cabin and cut them up. And why I was, like, do I have a shredded condom under my yeah, pillow? That's exactly like I was like. <laughs> mm, huh? latex. Yeah. Mm. Exactly. I was like. Mm. Taste mm, dusty. <laughs> Yeah, because because I was pretty young at this point, but I knew what a condom was because I picked one up on the playground How and flew into know? it, mm, thinking it was I don't a balloon. No, and my no, recess no, teacher please. was like, no, 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 yeah. no. So no wonder you have so many body problems. You got syphilis when you were two. <laughs> I've been tested. And I'm fine. I just got a flare up every now and then. <laughs> every now and then. Don't we all? Yeah. <laughs> don't group me and don't we all with syphilis, you pig. <laughs> you pig. You pig. Oh swine. <laughs> wow. I love you, I'm sorry. <laughs> goodness gracious. Yes. But yeah, disgusting. I was in first grade, so what was I to know of such a thing? Well, uh, yeah, yo, no, here's the thing. You should have known. But there were condoms all the time at the playground at my elementary school. So I all knew right. after that. So <laughs> Juliana's like, there were balloons everywhere when I was a kid. I was going around blowing them all up for people. It was yeah, great. Well, why I thought it was Then I was blowing one thing one time, and I don't think that was a balloon. And but, you know, I mean, and you know was, what went anyway. through my mind when I blew it up? I thought it was like one of the ones that they make like the little animal balloons out of because it was long and skinny. And I was like, oh, sick. And uh, yeah, my Rocket research teacher snake. was like, yeah, my research teacher was like, drop that, drop that, and I was like, yeah, it was pretty slimy inside. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yes. You don't have to say yes every time I make a stupid joke. You can just not talk. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll just nod. She's saying it like she's a border agent. Like, uh huh. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. Yeah, we've uh -huh. got that. Um. Yep. So, what's up with the drugs in your trunk? I don't know how in the world we got on this topic. I think I started talking about cussing, and then I have no idea where we went after that. Sin. The only Sin. reason I brought up cussing was because I was at my sister's graduation party, 
and I was with my mom, and I, I forget what I said. We were pointing to something. I, I organized the bookshelf, the new bookshelf that they put up there for this party, but I was like, what did she do to the damn books? And, like, my mom's friend heard me in the kitchen. She was like, oh, you mean dang? And I was like, uh, no, you fucking bitch. <laughs> I pulled out no, a gun. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> then I went to snipers.com. Yep, yeah, that was this me. Is America. <laughs> You're taking away my freedom of speech. <laughs> and then I shot her with my legal laser gun. <laughs> Good shit. <laughs> oh my god, why is my camera off? It just was like, Zoom cannot detect camera. And I was like, huh? <sighs> Oh no, we can't see her good reactions. <laughs> <laughs> her fantastic reactions. Final I'm kidding. Meme. No, I I'll kidding. leave and come back. I'll leave and come back. No! <laughs> We're never going to see her again. No, she will never get back in again. Her computer will die and we'll never see her again. To continue something from last time, because we're just skipping around a bunch of random bullshit now. Uh, I mentioned last time that my parents were going to go to a cabin that Jared Leto had rented before. Mm -hmm. So when they actually went to that cabin recently, apparently I'm finding out now, that while they were there, the guy from Free Solo was also there at the same time. So they were at Yosemite, and that's where he filmed that movie, Free Solo, if you've seen it. But uh, And apparently he's friends with Jared Leto, and they had dinner together. And that's something that they were told by, like, the house manager. So, like, <laughs> that's a pretty reliable source. So I'm just imagining the free solo guy being friends and eating dinner with Jared Leto. Can you imagine? That is the weirdest pairing I've ever heard. A guy that Jared has, like, Leto no brain stimulation compared himself. to Jared Leto. Yeah. Like, Do you remember when Jared Leto had, like, the cult, like, on that one, like, private island? He straight up, like, started a cult. Like, everybody was wearing white robes and I they were, like, do, carrying yes, him around. This. Like, forgot. Jesus. Oh, my God. Yes. Like, that was the start of him having the long Jesus hair and beard look really? that he's had for the last couple years. Yeah. What happened to this. that? There were a bunch of, like, they all got They all killed themselves. <laughs> <laughs> they uh -oh. the they the yeah, I was, gonna, I was just gonna say that. I was like, they, yeah. Um, there were a bunch of, like, younger girls, like, women... Who he was Younger women in a yeah. cult? Oh, yeah. What he I was... would I've never heard of such a thing. <laughs> there were heavens. a bunch of like you know like you oh, know a great like, heavens, like like teenagers like trying to get with him, and I guess he was kind of like oh they're just worshiping me or whatever like I'm their leader and like people were like this is kind of sketchy dude, and I think it kind of disbanded after it got some flack from that. They disbanded after he started sending used condoms to people. Even they were like, hey, dude, that's not cool. That's a <laughs> little... I know I'm your fellow even... cult member, but Jesus Christ, but calm it Hey, down. dude, I know we worship you and everything, but not cool, dude. That's gross. That's grody. <laughs> gross. <laughs> grody. No, I didn't know he actually started a cult, but that I'm not surprised in the slightest. And I don't know why anyone works with him, honestly. What does he bring to the table? More morb. <laughs> More morb. <laughs> I can't believe they brought it back to theaters and it opened to like an eighty-five thousand dollars. I weekend. know, I know. I want yeah, to see it in went theaters. Too far. <laughs> no, good. They lost more money. <laughs> yeah, I lost more money. Wait, wait, say, wait. What happened? I missed it. Then I thought you said it, they put it back in theaters. Yeah, but like they the did. cost to put it back back was more than what it's they. It's more than what oh. they earned. So like they still lost gotcha, more gotcha, money. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. <laughs> no, they were like, good. they were like, that's yeah, good. put it back. We'll totally go see it, Jared Leto, and then. He's they like, love really? It. Look at the memes. Yeah, That's and then hilarious. he's like, he's like, That's really? Hilarious. And then nobody showed up. They were <laughs> really? even promoting. They were even promoting it, like with the, like the little yeah. gifts saying like it's morbid times. So, like yeah. they're full aware. Oh, you're aware kidding. The actual yeah, yeah. account was saying that. No. Yeah. Uh, yep. yep. That's pain. You know what does shock me though? Like how young he still looks. He's like 50 now, and. It's kind that, of baby <laughs> that baby blood. That baby blood. Yeah, I was gonna say it's because he sucked all the life from the cult members we can't find anymore. <laughs> yeah. Untraceable members. <laughs> huh, where'd all the fifty members go? I don't know, but I look like I'm twenty seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh nice, boy, dude. am I sure handsome. Yeah. Oh Bali <laughs> Bali. I'm done talking. Uh <laughs> he likes wearing, you know, his his shirts with the open chests and stuff. That's his thing. <laughs> Yeah, because I like seeing what a skinny white kid looks like on the inside. Ooh. Ooh, do you what's remember, in there? Do you remember when uh, It's like unwrapping like... a white Three Musketeers. <laughs> white Three Musketeers. 
<laughs> he was semi cool when he was. What's in, like, in a there? Punk oh, it's all band. nougat. That's disgusting. <laughs> it's all nougat. <laughs> That is gross, actually. You're telling me the entire Three Musketeers is filled with concrete filler? Gross. <laughs> mm. Jared Leto's cum. Who dis- who decided that Three Musketeers was going to be that? I-, I don't understand. The Three Musketeers. What if we made a candy bar that was as thick as your eyeball, and you know how candy bars are filled with like nuts and chocolate and nougat? And th- what if it was just nougat? What if it was just pain? I think they just had an excess amount, and they're like, how do we get rid of this? <laughs> That's actually a really walk. smart idea. That's actually a really What's, smart idea. Give me a beloved story. <laughs> give me a beloved story. Mm-hmm. Goldilocks. Nah, I hate that shit. Quick, 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 Daniel. What's the worst candy bar? <laughs> uh, Dasani. Am I worst supposed to say something? I... No, I just want to know what's, what's the worst candy bar to you. Uh, to me, uh, I don't... But, the one that's got the coconut. Um, you don't almond like joy? almond joy? Or mounds? Which one? They're both uh, the same thing. Ones with almonds. Ones with almonds, no, I, yeah. I like coconut in certain things, but like it just tastes like you're eating like shredded paper that's gone through like an office shredder. Yeah. yeah. But then delicious. also, oh look, a pecan. Great. So it's like rocks and shredded paper. And my almond, almond joy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pecan and my almond joy. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> All right, it's an almond. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, Papa. I buy, I buy Babu. I had a 3.9 GPA. <laughs> so I hate the pecans in my home and joy, dude. Got him. Live, lively, what, lively, what's the worst candy bar? The the Heath Graham. It's just like an old person one to me. Heath bar or a hundred grand? Hundred, uh, what's the difference? <laughs> I don't know. They're both awful. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't tell you. That's why I, I just combine them. Combine the bad two. Have, have you seen the the candy bars that are cereal, like breakfast? Those cereal? are so oh, good. Don't I've even... had those. They are. I good. will defend they those till the day I die. It's got like die. white chocolate on them. White chocolate. Maybe I'm not talking like about the right ones. But the one that I saw, what the one that I had, they do look was terrible. essentially wet chocolate Rice Krispies. And it was disgusting. No, I didn't. Yeah, I haven't had the rice I tried crispies the ones. I had the fruity pebbles. Pe- yes! yes, yes, that's yes! the one. Yes, that's the one. <laughs> Daniel, was that it? Be honest. No, it was. Yeah, yeah I was crispies. like, you can tell us. We <laughs> won't judge like, you <laughs> like with Ghostbusters. I swear. <laughs> Wink. You can't tell I'm winking because my camera's off. But. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Haha. Uh-huh. You really missed. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Got him. <laughs> Guess we'll put subtitles in here. You <laughs> don't, yeah. don't like you. You're telling me you don't like overly sugary cereals, Daniel? Dude, I love, I love over sugary cereals. Are you oh, kidding? Yeah. What's the best cereal? What's the best Ooh, cereal? That's a toughie. That's a toughie. Uh, that's a tough one. Uh, peanut butter Captain Crunch is really good. Well, that one's very Pe- specific. <laughs> yeah, because here's the deal. Captain Crunch is good, but obviously it murders your mouth. You know, right? Well, peanut I've butter Captain Crunch. I've never had Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch so. You haven't? Really? Oh. So peanut butter, so peanut I butter like Captain it, Crunch, but it peanut butter Captain out. Crunch doesn't rip like your mouth. It just it's <laughs> Captain Crunch, but also flavored peanut butter, and it's good. So I wait. Love so it. it's like the fruity stuff and peanut no, no, butter, no. or just only peanut butter? Just peanut butter, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, so it's basically it's people compare it to Reese's Puffs, but I don't Reese's Puffs aren't that good. I don't think there's something they changed them. There's something Reese's weird Puffs, with them. Reese's Puffs, eat them up, eat them up, eat them up. Oh, look, <laughs> more childhood references. I don't know. They weren't playing the Reese's Puffs commercial after the 9-11 attack, I'll tell you that, so. Love you, dude. Mm, we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. <laughs> Did you, dude, okay, okay, I'm sorry, this is not funny, but like, to me, it's super, okay, oh, it's no. kind of funny. The Ukraine attacks, when that happened, right when they're funny. reporting it live on CNN, they've stopped, like, mid-break, and then they play, like, that Applebee's commercial, where the dude, like, the guy oh, yeah. dancing in his little jeans. He's like, he's like, it's like Applebee's on a date night. Yes, yes, yes. Have you seen that? Yeah, yeah. It's literally the worst thing. We live in a dystopia, but it's, yeah, oh yeah. my God, dude. It's literally TikTok commercial. <laughs> it's so bad. That's oh, funny. God. They literally played an Applebee's ad in the middle of that. Anyway, Reese's Puffs. I never, I never tried them oh, until two Reese's. years ago. I never tried them until two years ago. My whole childhood, I thought like, man, that's probably such a good cereal. They're always promoting it. All these kids eat it. It's probably going to be great. I was so disappointed, and it's I bought, like, good. the big box. It's the not good. Is pretty I mild. ate Reese's Puffs for, like, a month straight every day, just because that's how big the box was. 
I was miserable. I, was... I hated that cereal. I really like cinnamon toast crunch. Shut up! Shut up! I hate you. You don't, you don't like cinnamon toast crunch? I thought you said I will never buy cinnamon toast crunch. Oh no! I said I really like cinnamon. Oh okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was I'm like, sorry. wow, we got some cinnamon no. toast slander. They changed. They... <laughs> sorry, go on, Daniel. What? No, they changed cinnamon toast crunch. I loved it for forever, really? and at some point what, they changed sugar? it, and it tastes bad, and I will not eat it. Really? It's Last so time yeah. I had it, it was good. I I yeah. just had it like within the year. It used I... to be like solid, like flakes and like stuff around it and whatever, and now it's like like air. It's just gross. I don't know. Oh, like oh, the actual saying squares? the squares are too puffy now? They're air yeah, they changed now. some things and it tastes like like actual chemicals. Well, I have stupid caveman brain. Yeah, so I'm like, oh, sugar? Mm. Yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah, I, that's sugar. why okay. I like cinnamon toast crunch too. It's just all fucking sugar. Like, it's <laughs> literally cinnamon and sugar and I'm like... I'm gonna <laughs> die of diabetes in like three years, watch. Yeah, me too. Like, it runs in <laughs> my family on both sides. Like, everybody has diabetes. I'm like, why even try to fight it, man? Why so... fight the system? If Reese's, if Reese's Puffs disappointed you, next time you're at Walmart, get a box of peanut butter Captain Crunch because it's actually really good. I'll take that's my recommendation. I will, I will follow through. Peanut butter that. Captain Crunch is the very much superior to Reese's Puffs, although people still defend it. Because again, like you, I saw that ad all the time as a kid. I always wanted it. We were never allowed to get it. Finally, I'm in college. I'm like, woo! Oh, and it's no. not. It tastes kind of like soap. It's like soap oh. covered balls. Oh. <laughs> soap covered balls. Daniel's just like. Kind of like mm. me in the shower. Familiar flavor. <laughs> Familiar flavor. <laughs> black balls. Black and brown balls. Black and brown soap <laughs> balls in my mouth. <laughs> White cream. <laughs> 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 milky, milky. <laughs> milky, milky, milky. Black balls, black balls. <laughs> Imagine driving to work and you're just listening to this. Like, I should drive off the side of I the should... road now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think I just like, like, cinnamon flavor or something now that I'm thinking about it. Because I was, like, trying to remember what cereals I liked as a child. And I was like, cinnamon, Apple cinnamon Jacks. Cinnamon and peanut butter cereals are all yeah. top of the line. I just liked Apple Jacks, too. I, I don't know why. Like, I remember none of my friends liking that, but I was like, this is pretty heckin' good. No, I loved Apple Jacks. I used to... So, my family never bought, like, the high-sugar cereals. We were always, like, a Cheerios, <laughs> Frosted Flakes family, and that was it. Yeah, Frosted boom. Flakes look how Juliana like... turned out. Yeah. <laughs> Sugar! <laughs> yeah. Look what you're missing out on. You're missing out on alien cancer. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Wee! So literally, you, like, she'll just ooze black ooze, and she's like, "Whoop, another Tuesday." And we're you're like, right, ah. I did. Yeah, I she's did. into Snapchat, and we're like, "She's like, oh, this black stuff came out of my throat," and we're like, "Oh, okay, uh, well." Like her house is the house from Stranger Things. It's just like a bunch of wasps bullshit. Flying everywhere. Wasps living in the Flies. walls. Ooze, ooze coming out of her eyes and orifices, ass and shit. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> The bathroom doesn't have a lock and the shower door is see-through. It's just, yeah. this house is hell. This house is hell. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. Yes. yes. No, You're what correct. I was going to say is uh, we never bought the sugary cereals. And so when we'd go across the street to the little like gas station convenience store thing, I would always bug my dad to buy the little cups of Apple Jacks. And oh, poor, yeah. this poor mm. man, like, God bless him, but he would pay, like, five bucks for, like, the little... The little tiny the little one. Cup. And I know that killed him when you could get, like, a box for a two bucks box. or whatever. Right. Yeah. And I'm like, Apple Jacks. And he's like, oh. he roll his eyes. And he's like, just pay the man, <laughs> Poor <please."> Papa. <laughs> Another Speaking week without smoking just to <laughs> afford the <laughs> Apple Jacks. <laughs> you know what's, this is something that still keeps me up at night. I swear to God, this is like a deep, like traumatic thing to me. Oh, good. I Let's always... share it on the Grillax guy. Oh, no, podcast. no, 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 no. It's humorous. It's very humorous. Don't it's worry. humorous. It's not a lively traumatic. It's a lick <laughs> traumatic. Oh, good. When I was little, I would always be like, I love the movies. I want to go to the movies. The movies are great. But, you know, it adds up because you're a kid and you always want to see this and that and this and that. So yeah. I was bugging my parents to go to the movies constantly, constantly, constantly. And they're like, yeah, next time. Oh, that movie's out. Well, you'll see it on DVD. Like, catch it in the $5 bin. Like, th those are my parents, right? So, one day... Look, my we'll see Titanic <laughs> later, all right, kids? Just shut the fuck up. Mom, I'm literally Boobs. one and I want to see this movie. <laughs> I'm one. <laughs> so, finally, I, my mom was going out with my aunt, and she was like, hey... Your mom was dating your aunt? Right. She was... 
I know, I know, I know. Keep going. I can't help myself. This is why I don't have any friends. Keep going. <laughs> so she was going to, she was going out with my aunt to something. I don't know where they went. A club. Who, who knows? Oh, they were going to yeah. Duck Club. <laughs> Imagine. No, they probably went to like the casino, which is oh, oh. not even better. But yeah, whatever. I was like, oh. <laughs> so they went out, and my Juliana's dad was like, "Whoa, <laughs> traumatic experience of losing forty-two pennies." <laughs> <laughs> Starts throwing up. You know what? When we were oh, talking about Chuck E. Cheese, that sounds. <laughs> yeah, when we were talking about Chuck E. Cheese earlier, I had like a flashback to when I was like fiending for coins Great. after I ran what out of them. Flashback. I would, I would literally like crawl on the ground and find coins under the machine to keep using them to keep playing. So that's why I was like, I can never. Is that what you were the shaking gambling. when you were telling us the story? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, see, all my friends used to call me Juju, and, like, one time at Chuck E. Cheese, they were, like, calling after me, and they are like, hey, Juju, and, like, all these moms were like, stop That's calling terrible. her a Jew! That's, you can't say that, don't make fun of her religion. Stop calling her a Jew, we hate Jews. Yeah. Wait, yeah. what? I was You're so gonna confused. get her kicked out! I was, like, four, you know, I was so confused, I was like, what? <laughs> No, um, so my, my mom and my aunt, they went out to, yeah, no, I gotta finish the story, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> mom and aunt went out, dad was in charge of the kids, and so, uh, my mom's like, look up movies that are in the theaters, and I was looking around, and there was nothing, there was genuinely nothing, and I'm like, mom, no I don't want to go to the movies, can we just stay home? And she's like, go to the movies, go with your dad, you'll have fun, just find a movie, and I'm like, uh, there's genuinely no good movies in theaters, and she's like, "No, just just find a movie. You're going to the movies. I'm calling your aunt. Your cousin's coming over. You guys are gonna go to the movies. Fun movie day." And I'm like, "Please, mom. There's literally nothing." So we go to the movies, and do you know what feature film we had the pleasure of seeing? My dad, myself, and my cousin. We saw Nomeo and Juliet. I didn't want to see this movie. That's a recent, mo- isn't it? That's the sequel, but the original <laughs> came out when we were like semi older enough to be like, this sucks. So my cousin and I watched Nomeo and Juliet with my dad, who clearly didn't want to be there. And if you haven't seen Nomeo and Juliet, at the end, there's a whole big dance sequence. Yes. And of course there shaking. is. And, and we're just sitting huh? there. I was on suicide watch. Their <laughs> it was it was the worst. It was genuinely just awful. It, it, I I left the theater mad. Two thousand eleven. Wait, yeah, that so was that eleven was years ago. ago. Yes, Daniel. Yeah, so it was out of our age range. I'm we're, old. Yeah. Uh, yes. So it's <laughs> like fifty five percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, because yeah, it's, it's not good. It's not good. That's good on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> no. What for a shit for yeah. a shit movie? I expected it to have like ten percent. No. Uh, it says in here, while it has moments of inspiration, that's good. No. Damn the only it, good please. part about that movie is the music, and it's they just, like, used all Elton John's songs and then changed the lyrics to f- be gnome. Gnome like, related. It's, yeah, to be gnome related, oh, okay. so. You want to watch it's, the sequel, Sherlock Gnomes? Yeah, Johnny Depp is no longer a, a disgrace to that. Hollywood. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> you can watch that now. He's the, Thanks, he's the I was holding detective. off on watching, you know, <laughs> no, Sherlock Gnomes. Juliet, the sequel, Sherlock Gnomes. <laughs> yeah. Glad I can get that again from Redbox. Yeah, So I go. made my I made my father sit through an hour and a half movie about Romeo and Juliet, but reenacted with Garden Gnomes. So that was fun. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure he wanted to disown me that night. Because that's, according to my mom, that's the movie I wanted to see. He wants to see that's the take him. <laughs> That's and the then, day that dad went on a vacation for a week, and when he came back, he looked like a completely different person. But you know, looked like shit. <laughs> I was going for more of like it was like your stepdad, like he just full on left, and she got someone else. He came back from a meth binge. <laughs> meth binge. My my dad loves watching really bad kids movies like that, like all the time, like to this day. Like he'll make me sit through them with him all the time. So What's I his did see. Twenty five years old. I Sorry, would do that. Going. No, I'm on her side. I would I would sit through bad movies. Bad funny movies, not bad movies. No, no not bad even movies funny. Are sometimes enjoyable yeah, exactly. Some exactly. Sometimes like, you know, most That's of the a time bad I'm good just, movie. <laughs> well, I guess. Sometimes sometimes I'm just on my phone and like, you know, it's just like, oh, my dad wants some like bonding time and you know, I'll look up and sometimes it'll just be such a terrible joke and it's just the worst thing ever and inside i want to cry but on the outside i laugh so i'm like this does he genuinely enjoy them or he's like this is bad 
No, he genuinely enjoys them. <laughs> And that's that's a problem for me. That's he really, he, yeah, I know. Let he, the he man loves, enjoy his bad movie. He he loves them. He loved the um the pigeon movie with Will Smith or whatever that one where he was like a spy. Oh great! I don't I remember didn't watch what it, that. I don't. It was really really bad. I have okay. Is it just me or like kids movies not performing well recently? Because you hear of a movie and I feel like the next week you just see him in Walmart like immediately yes, on DVD. Yes, I feel like they and are not performing well. I just remember as a kid they'd well. be out. And then, like, Forever. four months later, then they're finally on, like, Yeah, exactly. A DVD I feel like it's because kids have, like, access to the internet now, so they have stuff they actually want to watch. Is that what and, it like, is? Like, YouTube. I think it's, like, YouTube. It's YouTube just the way is, it like... is for... I feel like that's just the way it is for every movie. It gets that two weeks of, of bump, and after that, you will never, But you know, like, kids' again. movies, even if they were bad, they always made money. Kids' movies, like, everybody saw them, even if they were bad. We all saw them. I don't know. Just like, I don't went. know. Maybe it's just because I'm a, like when I was little, I was oblivious, and I'm like, yeah, Finding Nemo was in there for four months. But like yeah. looking back, like I remember being around for so long. Like the merchandise, you see mm-hmm. it at like McDonald's for like the, the toys and everything. Yeah, the like, toys, the shirts. It was everywhere, a whole a target. Now you hear of Norm of the North for like two days and then it disappears. True. <laughs> yeah, that's but, very like, I accurate. Like kids, <laughs> I feel like kids' movies have shifted to superhero movies, and that's like where the market is, and everything else just like doesn't matter. I feel like that's gonna die out other than soon. Pixar. Yeah, I know. Kids, it's already kids dying out like... because it's like Marvel continues to do it well, and no one else can. So they're just kind of like, all right, we'll go back to like Monopoly. individual ones. If we get a good one, we get a good one. But like, no one else is doing the universe thing. I feel like. Yeah. DC's fucked after the whole trial, so I mean, they're just yeah. Don't after the trial. That's why they're fucked, not because the movies were like bad beforehand. Well, the movies are bad beforehand, but I mean, like Aquaman two was probably going to be one of their biggest movies, and not anymore. So, I and I saw uh, the Nomeo and Juliet, the second one with my dad, <laughs> and I can't tell you a single thing that happened in it besides. <laughs> Girl, you need to move out. Besides, I remember there was a house that was uh, listed as to be, and then the house next to it, it said to be, but it was crossed out, and it was like not to be, and I was like, I like that joke. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's okay. pretty. Fun. I like that's that. Yeah, good. and that's so that good, was actually. yeah, and and so that's the only thing I remember. That's the only from reason it. they and, made that movie because they yeah, forgot to put that in the first one, and they're like, ah, put yeah. it in the second one. <laughs> well, oh, we got like a whole to- second one. Because two B is like Sherlock Holmes' uh, address or whatever, so like yeah, I was like, this that. is this is creative on so many levels, and that's the only thing I can tell you about that movie. That's because... the only reason they crossed over Nomeo and Juliet <laughs> yeah. and Sherlock Holmes, dude. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, I why did they out. cross that over? What does one have to do with the other? <laughs> they literally uh... were just like, what can we put gnome in the title? And they're like, Sherlock <laughs> Gnomes. Gnomes. They were looking for words, words that rhyme with gnome. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, literally. What other, what other books, what other things rhyme with gnome then? Like, what's the next movie going to be? Can we predict what the next one's going to be? What rhymes with gnome? Hold on, I gotta Someone Google, Google it. Someone Home. Google what gnome rhymes with. What Home. rhymes with gnome? Gnome alone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's good. One, that's a good, that's that's a good, good one. one. All right, put us on the writer's board. We're ready to go. <laughs> we're in, we're in. We're I wrote in. down, I typed in Google what rhymes with gnome, and the first thing that come up was people also ask what words rhyme with Shrek. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Wreck. In check. Peck. Thanks. Thank you. That's great. Yeah, no, the only thing I remember from Nomeo and Juliet is there was a gnome wearing a thong, and, I, and the rest was blacked out. Yeah, see, I told you, Daniel. I said there was a gnome shaking its. Yeah, what's up with always like butts in kids' movies? I think why, kids why do think they think that's funny? funny? I went to. Dude, I went to get my flu shot at uh, Walgreens last year, and I was just waiting to get called, and I like looked. Right behind me, right behind like the where you get your little checkup or whatever that area is. I don't know what they call it. The Walgreens doctor office. I don't know what you call it. Oh, that, the but... consultation room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. like right outside that, they had a little clearance section with all like the toys that kids don't want, and it was all butt related, and it just kind of broke. <laughs> It's full on like asses with feet, and I'm like, oh, that's where we've come to as a society. That's All nice. Right. Okay. Well, that's and it's just so ages, ages four and up, and I'm like, that's... it's so stupid. I'm going to buy you one. I know, it's like only butt related, and I was like, that's nice. There's just a wall of butts. No, literally, they're all, like, clearance stuff for, like, two bucks. Like, no one oh. wanted these. Oh, God. I, you know what? I would probably buy it, then, if it was, like, two bucks. <laughs> I'll go back and buy you one if there's still some in there. I'm pretty sure, like, anytime there's, like, Juliana's a Juliana's like, two thing. bucks. Well, okay, I, I can't play penny slots for four weeks, That's but, you know, it might be back. worth it. 
<laughs> I'll have to show you guys some of like, like my stupid memorabilia that I get from things where it's like if there's free things, I'll always get the stupidest thing, like the dick cup. Like there's a cup and you're supposed to just drink from it, and then at the bottom there's the dick, so it's supposed to be like a surprise. There's a Got there's him. a dick at the bottom of your cup. So and Vegas. then <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And then there's like uh there's like a toilet that was like a candy dispenser, like chocolates dispensed out of the toilet bowl. I think kids just like gross things and then they're yeah. like, ah, oh, market to them. So I remember when we yeah, were Yeah, but the thing is, like I didn't get these bug... as a child. Oh, yeah, I know. You're a grown woman. <laughs> <laughs> That's your own issue, too. <laughs> the child inside of me will never die. Daniel, I think it's safe to assume that you never had any butt-related toys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lame! Bible-related toys. <laughs> yeah. Did you actually? Wink! Probably. What Bible toys? This is yeah. Cain and Abel. Make them kill each other. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, yeah, I was like, mm. This is Noah, and then these are 40,000 people that have to die in the flood. <laughs> you have to throw them in the lake. Daniel, throw them in the lake and watch them. You can't them. play with them anymore. Well, no, you can't play with them. You can't go find them. They will drown, all of them. No, they're not toys. They're all alive. Imagine them all alive, <laughs> screaming and crying out. They're dead. They're, they're crying dead, because Daniel. of you. You're God. <laughs> You're God. You are God. I, I had a nightmare of Noah's Ark one time when I was a kid. Oh, I remember this distinctively because, like, like I thought it was totally real. I was trying to get onto the onto the boat, and I was like, please, please. And I just kept, like, crawling and, like, clawing at the ship. And I was like, please let me in and, like, walking into it. And then Relax I woke comedy. up. I woke up and I was sleepwalking at my Girl Scout like camp and I was just walking into a girl's bed in this cabin and she Let was me staring in. at me. Let me yes, in. yes. Let and me I in. was I was literally just saying that and she was staring at me, looking up at me horrified, and I opened my eyes and looked down at her and she was like screaming and I was like, Holy shit, what did I just do? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I, I think felt you told so us this bad. Before. I yeah. still think you gave us the background of what the yeah, dream was. No, yeah, we never got the context. That was the dream sequence. Oh my god. <laughs> Daniel, you were gonna Lively's say fixing her lies from earlier episodes. Yeah, okay, dude. Her lies? <laughs> nope, that was the dream behind my sleepwalking, so. <laughs> I love that we're actually getting a TikTok audience now because the comments are either A, realizing that they're, they're like Mia Khalifa, and you're like, that's original. And then the other comments are, is Juliana okay? Everything has happened to her in life. <laughs> Every video has a comment like that. It's hilarious. And I get to yeah. respond with, no. No, she's not. <laughs> no. no to Mia Khalifa and no to she's not okay. <laughs> yep. That's my life. Wait, Daniel, you were going to say something before she talked about her traumatic Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, it probably wasn't Noah's funny Ark anyway. Noah's Ark plays at Bible Toys. Uh, I probably already talked about it, so I don't... We don't oh my gosh, again. no. Ah. <laughs> don't do not do that. It was the dra giving away the dragon to charity. Did I already talk about this? No. You told me that when we hung out, but please tell that on the story. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, Julia. You're a second-rate friend now. <laughs> I oh. told Nick everything. <laughs> Golly. It's okay. She hasn't responded to me in a year, so. <laughs> you can't even see my reactions because no video. <sighs> yeah. Aww. Sad face. Sad Aww. face. <laughs> I, oh, you know what I'm going to do in the edit? I'm going to put a picture of Mia Khalifa in, instead of. <laughs> Find one of her frowning. <laughs> I'm just going to put in Mia Khalifa porn. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> more views. More views. <laughs> Yeah. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, the dragon story. Yeah. So, uh, you know, Awana, if we don't know what Awana is, it is a camp at a church down the road that you ship your kid off to where you give them a Bible, make them memorize as much as they possibly can. If they get it all right, they get little Chuck E. Cheese points. Shut up with <laughs> the fucking <laughs> Christian verses? Uh. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, my memory is really... The only time my memory is really good is in memorizing things that I, like, read. So, scripts, verses, that stuff. So, I was really good at the Awana stuff. I memorized, like... This 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 kid's thing is, like, four years long. But I only did it one year. And I memorized all four years worth of verses at once. So, I get a ton of these little ticket things. Which already... I mean, it, that's a... Anyway, so... I get all the tickets, I buy the biggest gift that they display on the table afterwards, and it's a giant, like, kingdom thing, like a kingdom set. So there's knights and horses and castle and a dragon, 
a couple of dragons. So anyway, super excited. Bring that home. I remember that I put it together and I'm playing with it in my room. And my mom walks in and she was like, what's that? And I was like, nothing. And she's like, is that a dragon? And I was like, no, I mean, yeah. And she was like, well, yeah, no. So we're going to have to give this away. And so we this packaged it up. We went to Applebee's and we dumped it in the Toys for Tots box. I had to go put it in the Toys for Tots box. And you saw the I am so time. sorry, dude. <laughs> What? Oh my gosh, that scared the absolute fucking shit out of me. I think I just shit myself. How do I make it stop? <laughs> um. Oh, okay. These headphones. If you touch them, they'll play something. It started playing that Fear Factor thing that I was listening to before. <laughs> so my ears started fizzing, and he goes, "Hello, this is Doctor X H Balthazar." And I was like, "Oh my gosh, God, God!" The voice says they're back. Lively, lively, you missed it, but he was listening to like different like uh, trailers for other podcasts. So I'm like, the voice is that one played? Of course, of all of them, that's the one you get. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't the one that's like, ba ba da ba. Hi, I'm Charlie. Welcome to. No, of course it was like the. Boom, welcome to hell. <laughs> yeah, he's just. Like, <laughs> No, back. <laughs> back to your anyway story, yeah dude. so dragons went to the orphans i'm gonna track down that set and i'm gonna give it to daniel for his like 30th birthday <laughs> i see a homeless person playing with it 30 years later i'm like hey that's mine and just grab it from <laughs> him and take it back mine? this is my fucking thing <laughs> homeless man found dead in st louis street after lego <laughs> stripped from him <laughs> lego stripping i hate you <laughs> Uh, have you seen the Norm Macdonald special on Netflix? I have. Yes, I have. No, I haven't seen it yet. I heard they well, were... Well, I didn't I ask you, did I? I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, not me, I guess. <laughs> I'm kidding. I Yeah. Anyway, if you haven't seen it, you should, but what you, would you think about it? I genuinely loved it. I'm glad he yeah. filmed it before, you know, that's before. a good precaution. I, I understand that, you know, as you get older, those are like, ooh... This operation might be tricky, or ooh, I'm facing this illness. I think it's always a good thing when. I'm not saying this is always the case, but I always like when people filmed one last thing before they passed, and then it gets revealed yeah. afterwards. It's just like, hey, look, this is the last thing they worked on. Enjoy it. Take it out into the world. For example, yeah. I hope I don't die tomorrow. Please film a special. <laughs> <laughs> it's be just terrible. the vine boom sound effect with you going like that. <laughs> 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 the baby? <laughs> the ba Daniel made a meme reference? Whoa! Oh, I'm, you're growing. You it's can't progress. see Juliana, but she's shitting herself right now on her bed. No, I, I wiped my eye. Crouched and shitting. Yeah, I was wiping my eye from tears of joy, but you can't see that. Yeah, sure. Okay. I, you're not wiping I, your I, ass? Yeah, okay. That too. Sorry. No, but Daniel. Wiping your ass it. in your unlockable bathroom. <laughs> With my bloody right. fingers right now. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Yum. Great mental image. <laughs> no, so Sorry, for anyone Jordan. who, I, I guess maybe we should give context, but for anyone who doesn't know, there's a new Norm MacDonald special on Netflix that I guess he recorded like a day before a big procedure, like some time-ish before he died. And uh, and at the there's like another half hour of commentary from like his friends and people. Um, so it was really sweet. It was just like, it was sad to watch the whole thing. But it was also like good to watch, you know, because it's just sad. Just because he's just like a joyous person. Like he's just one of those people where it doesn't feel like stand up. He's just like sitting down talking to you. So it's like watching like a video of your grandpa talking to you or something. It's just like, you know, yeah, sad. No, I, I loved it. I genuinely loved it. Yeah, and then like hearing he's, people he's like very talk funny. About I him. feel like all of his comedy is so relaxed because he's just so funny that it just comes naturally. Like everything he does is really witty. On so a dark good. day, I'll just rewatch his like 25 minutes that he talked about OJ during SNL and just laugh my fucking ass off. He's <laughs> so good. He's, and like, he's just one of those people where it's like, it feels so effortless, but like, he's, he definitely knows exactly, like, there, there could have been a crowd right there. I mean, he reacted the same way as you would if there were a crowd there. And I love the way that, like, like, uh, like, I love Better Call Saul, you know that. And, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not a huge fan of Breaking Bad, but it's an incredible show regardless. But so what I like about Vince Gilligan, that director, is that he'll set something up in the beginning where you're like, what's that? And then like you'll forget completely about it 30 minutes True. later. And then all of a sudden it comes back in and you're like, holy and you're like, oh. shit. I did not expect. And that's exactly what Norm does. Like he'll start something. He'll set something and then, up. 
and then he'll just kind of talk about something for uh, you know whatever and he'll come back with oh yeah Call I don't want to suck on my mom's tits and you're like <laughs> oh yeah like you forgot about that <laughs> so good the way he sets that up it's so funny funny man listen. but yeah so that was nice and having the people talk about him was was nice um, I didn't know what's her name Molly Shannon I wish I could have heard more from her. She had like three things to say, but a lot of her stuff was just wow. Yeah, she was like, "Dave, that's really (laughs) sweet." I'm like, "Let her talk, guys. Goodness." Well, it's like when you're when you're in a room with David Letterman and uh, what's the other guy is like, you're not gonna get a word in edgewise. It kind of annoyed me that David Letterman was just like, "How would this be in front of an audience?" Okay, but what if an audience was there? Yeah, how would this perform in front of an audience? And I'm like, "Dude, just drop it already." I'm not really a fan of David Letterman. We're like, yeah, dude, we get it. You were a host of a Tonight Show. Quit fucking asking interview questions. Just shut up. <laughs> if this was in front of an audience, and I'm like, dude. If they probably <laughs> spent 10 minutes of the 30 minutes dissecting his stupid questions. I was like, no one fucking cares what it would have been like in front of a live audience. It's not. Just move on. People are always like, oh, he was my favorite talk show host, like, all the time. And I see, I see, like, highlights from him, and it's not very funny to me. And I'm like, he's is it creep just because... He's just an asshole. <laughs> yeah, like, all the highlights I see are him making fun of guests. I'm like, that's yeah, exactly. not nice. I was like, I was like, is it just because this didn't age well? And then I see stuff from, like, that same time period that's funny, and I'm like, no, he just... It's just like, oh, is it because they think he's sassy? Oh, he's so sassy and funny. Is that is that why? They like that he's mean or something? But think, I don't know. But it then, comes across as he just comes across as like arrogant. egotistical yeah. and just rude. Yeah, it's just well, he just seems like he's. A, I mean, there's that movie Late Night. Have you ever seen Late Night? No. Really good movie. It's an Amazon Prime original, and it's got um, oh fuck, uh, who's the person from Sense and Sensibility? <laughs> Emma Thompson. Uh-oh. Emma Thompson is in it as a late night. It's it's and um, uh, Mindy Kaling is um in it and really really good movie hilarious movie um but she's like this older british person that like they're trying to like get her to be more compassionate and like nice towards people and there's a part of the movie where she had like they're trying to be relatable and she brings on someone from youtube and she talks to her i don't know if it was if they're supposed to make it sound like i don't know if they were supposed to make it look like it would be david letterman but i think they were kind of calling out david letterman because it felt very much like (laughs) what just the gap tooth no it was like some girl making videos on youtube and she was like oh so that's your contribution to the world dog shitting videos and it's like that that's <laughs> david letterman that's david letterman like I don't, I, he's a guy i would never want to talk to he's just yeah i would he's always the one where everybody's like if i could be interviewed by any of those talk show people it'd be him and then i remember like he released that special on like netflix and everybody's like oh my god i'm so glad he did some extra like interviews with like obama or whatever and i'm like Oh my god, I'm not going to be Ooh. watching any of that. It <laughs> wasn't been an Obama. Oh man, can't wait to hear all about that. <laughs> wasn't he like I a creep watch... though? Like Obama? Even... No, I'm just kidding. No, no. <laughs> Obama? <laughs> Obama? <laughs> Obunga. What's Obama's <laughs> last name? Anyway, so no, he's definitely a creep. There's definitely there's videos of him like either Leering groping at people or and touching people. Yeah, right? didn't, yeah, didn't yeah, he yeah. like jerk off in front of people too? Like, and then well, like Louis he C. got. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Didn't he get canceled for a while? And then like nobody cared. Everybody's like, yeah, I love him. And I'm like, isn't he like a well-known creeper though? Yeah, like, it's weird that no one. Cares. I hate when I, I hate when celebrities survived. get that that, that status pass. where they're like, oh well, they're so big that you know what? It's it's in the past. I see yeah. that so much. Yeah, Letterman. It's gross. Right Bill Mayer? Like, Didn't that happen to Bill Mayer? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Didn't he do a bunch of creepy shit and then he's just back and everyone's like, yeah, we'll keep reporting on him or whatever. Do you remember like, when he just straight up stop? said, like, the N-word <laughs> in one of his jokes no. and then, like, everybody was, like, really pissed and then, like, Ice Cube came on and was like, oh, it's okay, man, and then he just got the pass <laughs> from... <laughs> no, but even, like, Chris Brown. Chris Brown is still around. And oh, like... yeah, yeah. <laughs> popping and locking the same little moves from 2004 and he's still yeah i know me, right for some reason you made me think of chris tucker because i was just on a chris, chris tucker, tucker thing the other night whatever <laughs> happened whatever happened i know i was like what did chris tucker do <laughs> what has he done like where has he been for a while i miss chris tucker Didn't dude i was watching back? i was watching friday highlights i was like man that shit was fucking hilarious where is he no he i don't uh, know he made a film come back and then i think he was getting a comedy special or something oh did he well and i I think he was directing a bunch of stuff like i think he was doing things it wasn't like he was like out of it but i just like hadn't seen him and stuff for a while and i was sad didn't chris tucker get me too though oh did he yeah great 
There Great. We go. Another Dude. one down. Yeah, Another coming. one. <laughs> I just looked at I looked up his name and apparently he's coming to our hometown uh, September tenth. Oh, cool. So unless he's been me too, otherwise, boo. He was me too, but not canceled. Whew. Are you sure it was Chris Tucker? I never heard anything of this. I don't know. It said like. So I think he hung out with like Epstein's people, and some girl was said something, but I don't know if it was true. Didn't uh, Louis C.K. really? Is, there's a movie coming out that he's in. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty uh, sure it's not headline. Yes. Great. Yeah, I mean, just because Chris Tucker hung out with Epstein doesn't mean he was a predator, though. Yeah, but it doesn't bode well. I, I'll <laughs> yeah. say that. I just hang out with this notorious pedophile, but yeah. Like, He's a cool guy. <laughs> like, what? I was just having lunch with this guy that happened to be a notorious, you know, child molester and rapist, but, you know. But the thing is, he hung out with, like, a lot of, like, big celebrities in general. Right, but and they're all... Just because of all the power. Mm. Yeah, have mm. you ever seen Yum. the doc the documentary on power. Netflix or whatever? Like, Filthy Money or something like that? It, it's really uh, good. It's about Epstein and, like, oh, you guys should watch it. So, so much messed up stuff, like, behind the scenes, and it's just, like... When he died, like, somebody went in and, like, erased all this footage he had on his cameras because, like, he would record everything because he was, like, always wanting dirt on all these celebrities who would always come to his house. And it's just, like, was he actually murdered? It, it's not a conspiracy theory, like, thing, like, the documentary, but it just makes you think it's about it. It's not a conspiracy like, theory, but, like, was he murdered? <laughs> no, no, I know. That's just me Aliens? saying that. Like, like the, the documentary doesn't say anything like that. But to me, I'm like, oh, he's got, like, a lot of dirt on a lot of people. And, like, I remember somebody tried to do, like, a report on him, like, in the early 90s, like, when he was first getting into, like, being a pedo, <laughs> right? Like, really big into this ring. Um, of grooming girls, but uh, uh, somebody tried to do an article on him, like Vogue or something. It mm -hmm. was originally going to be like a piece on like rich people living like this luxurious life, and it was going to be like, oh, here's like his house or whatever. But when someone was asking about people who knew Epstein, like a girl came forward and was kind of like, oh, he was kind of like creepy. And so they were like, ooh. I know I was assigned to do this report on, like, his house, but I'm going to go and, like, investigate this instead. And um, when someone found out about it, she got a dead cat in a box on her doorstep, and then she kept getting bullets just placed on her door, like, on her porch. I'm just talking about how crazy Epstein was behind the scene to, like, go and that cover up all this stuff. It's just it's just really interesting, like, what people with money and power can, like, get away with. Yeah. And it makes you think about, like, what other celebrities are doing that we have no idea. Because nobody knew about this for years and years, like, basically oh, 30 years. Well, no, like... like the general public. Yeah, yeah I was yeah, going to say, like, like, the extent of what his ring went into and, like, what he did to silence people was just, like, crazy. Mm -hmm. So... Who knows what other celebrities be doing? The money fingers be stretching far. Well, like, I would love to be an actor and everything, but, like, so you, you can think get about away that sometimes. Murder. No. <laughs> but, yeah, like, no, you I'm get to a certain point of, like, being in that world where, like, you definitely have to see that shit and, like, a bunch of people would stay quiet. But, like, that would be very much against my morals. But that's like, well, then you're done you're in Hollywood. So it's like, yeah, you know, I, can't, I was trying to look up the guy's name because... Fuck me, I can't think of a movie he's in. Really famous guy. I think his name is first name's Gary. I, I hate Busey. it. You see? No, he's got he's got his hair is anyway. He has been a big advocator for Tibet's independence, and like he said it during an Oscar speech in like the '90s or something. And like after that, he hasn't been in any Hollywood movies because they need China. So it's like yeah. It's that's like I, I I don't know anything about him, but he's always been someone that I thought was really cool that he just didn't give a shit, and he does a bunch of shitty movies now because it's what he has to do. But I'm like, man, that's some that's some balls. But because I it just it's well, it's just icky to me that like you know John Cena almost says something about Tibet, so then he gets on, oh I'm I'm so sorry China, and then everyone's like, yeah, he's cool. It's like why. <laughs> China's gonna have this wiped from the internet. <laughs> There's gonna be like a disclaimer in front of every episode being like, the views of Senor Pequeños does not necessarily reflect the views of. <laughs> <laughs> True. 
Ladies and gentlemen, at this point in the podcast, we're skipping over a few conversation points for the sake of time. You can find the extra half hour of laughs on our Patreon by becoming a $5 patron for one month or more, and you also get access to our bonus footage from every episode, plus you get several full-length bonus episodes that are unreleased to the public. Again, find all that and more at patreon.com slash pod, so excuse the awkward segue and have a terrible evening. I gotta get going. The but... gold days. Yeah, same here. It's dinner time for me. It is yeah, 11 p.m. <laughs> no. Oh. Thanks, guys. Thanks for yes. listening. Hopefully I yes. wasn't too annoying. <laughs> Bye. Stop. No. Oh, oh, please like us.